Do we start? Okay. Um, first, I mean, my name. You know, do you want his name? No. Oh. No, we uh, uh, name ranking system because we have that from other information. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, just start out with what I two A the impact I two A mm -hmm. has had on you. Okay. Uh, and your students. All right. Um, and this this may require some editing depending on how personal you want it to be. Um, the the biggest impact the biggest impact of I two A really has been what it's allowed me to do in terms of transitioning in my career uh, trajectory. Let me tell you what I mean by that. For the vast majority of the early part of my career, all I did was research, 100% of the time. As I moved into uh, post-tenure um, academic work, I combined some research with a little bit of teaching and a huge amount of clinical service working with schizophrenia patients. Then when I came here to U of L, um, I started to move more into education as opposed to research and service. Not that you don't do all of them, but the truth is that we tend to focus on one versus the other. And what I2A has really allowed me to do uh, in a very personal way is to make that transition very smoothly, to be valued for thinking that it's important to make that transition toward education mentoring and has given me a combination of support and challenges. Um, as most faculty, I assumed I knew what I was doing. Um, I still think I know what I'm doing, but it's pointed out to me that uh, there are lots of other ways to think and lots of technology to use, all sorts of strategies, talking to other faculty, uh, arguing with other faculty in a positive way, um, something which I don't think occurs uh, sufficiently here. Um, I2A has been a venue for friendly argument. Uh, we might disagree about the paths mm -hmm. to some outcome, but I think we all agree on what the, the outcome should be. So uh, that has been invaluable. Uh, so for me personally, it's meant I can move into the sort of final phase of my career in a way that's supportive and actually very um, exciting. And rather than feeling like it's the end of my career, it's sort of the point of it. Um, and that's on a personal basis what I2A has meant for me. Now, what about the impact on your students? Impact on students, um, I think, has come about in several ways. Uh, one has been practical uh, in terms of my using some of my clinical research and understanding and incorporating it into teaching. Um, I've gotten very interested in the issue of self-awareness, which comes straight from therapy, but as applied in the classroom has to do with how well do you understand how you are doing as a student? How well can you monitor your performance? Does monitoring your performance help you improve your performance? Even if you can't improve your performance, is there some value to enhancing uh, awareness of self? And on that score, actually, um, in a very um, gratifying way, I've received uh, several uh, spontaneous emails from students who didn't necessarily do that well grade-wise, but who found the self-awareness focus and exercises of um, as they put it, tremendous value, uh, and that they adopted it in their other classes. In part, I think, because it takes away some of the, the anxiety uh, and gives a person a better sense of where they are along the entire spectrum. Uh, and so you can perhaps worry a little less about how am I doing to, okay, I know what sort of student I am, this is what I have to do. So that part's been very gratifying. I think it's helped in terms of uh, incorporating, and dare I use the word infusing, uh, <laughs> critical thinking, uh, standards, methods, etc. cetera. Um, as you know, um, I don't try and incorporate everything. I think that's just simply overwhelming, but particularly the issue of point of view, self-critical monitoring or monitoring of self-performance, uh, all of that, I think, comes straight out of the critical thinking model. Um, and from my perspective, is both an academic and a personal exercise, uh, which is to say that, uh, yes, it's important to be able to take the point of view of Skinner versus Watson versus Freud, but ultimately, uh, perhaps what is the most valuable is the modeling of being able to take other perspectives on yourself um, by thinking how you might appear to others or how others appear to you. Um, and to begin to use some of those metacognitive skills to evaluate one's own behavior, one's own presentation. Um, and the more we do that, uh, critical thinking about ourselves, 
um, I think the more value there is. And that comes straight out of I-2A. I think that's a wrap. I think that's good. Okay. You got any more questions, you think? I think you... That's Did you grow excellent. taller while I was talking? I <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, how do you do that? I don't know. I your shirt. Oh, this is what Assume I wear to class. Nothing. Assume nothing. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>